Zuma is with us at the moment. He's injured, so it's difficult for him to be seen by anybody else. Um, I gave Zuma our word that we would keep him on for another year, and I'll stand by my word. But I also said to him that he, if he gets a better offer from another club, at his age, we're not going to stand in his way. So we're happy to have him as part of our setup for another 12 months. Uh, but if he feels that there's a better offer for him out in the in the market, uh, we will not stand in his way. Not uh, the way that he is um, at his age and a fantastic servant he's been for South African football. He must go somewhere where he's going to play a big part. At Supersport, he's not going to play a big part. He's going to be um, a good squad player and someone we, he's reliable that we can bring on. But we're going, to, we're going to prioritize younger players and try and build this team moving forward. And he's the first one to admit he's not going to be part of, of the future. So it's up to him. I am disappointed uh, because... I made a lot of effort to go and meet the player and, and see if we could bring him back. I do understand that there was um, some undertakings between his club and, and Kaiser Chiefs, which we respect. I think he's a fantastic player and a good acquisition, and I would love for him to have played for us this season. But So that's the way that it was, and uh, we have to look forward. I think they've got a wonderful player there and someone that we thought um, we could have rebounded onto the international stage. Um, and I'm sure Stuart Baxter will get the best out of him, and, and he's going to be a massive asset for, for Kaiser Chiefs. So whether that ends their acquisition trail or is part and parcel of it, that's their business. I can't comment on about it. I would have loved for knowledge to play for us, um, so I'm going to find somebody else. They've left already. I, what I have, what you've seen on the, on the pitch today, is probably 99% of the team that will compete for the season. Well, you guys don't talk about the goalkeeper. I think the goalkeeper is beautiful. Ole. Yeah. I think he's fantastic, guys. I think he's one for the future. No, for, for now, I'm happy with what we have. And if the need comes along to strengthen, you know, I will go to the crutch and bring a, another 16-year-old. Yes, I think if, if, if Monet and Gino Mokezzi and uh, Tuto and uh, Tsepo come to the party, they're all less than 20 years old. And for me, it's always nice to have that type of youth in your team because it just pushes the players that have been playing five, six years in the PSL. And when you have those type of players pushing them, you only can get better football. And the only thing that you don't, that, that you don't want to happen is for them to get injured. That's all. Uh, we like Mone Nell a lot. Uh, we think he's got a fantastic future and we were very excited to, to, to sign him up from Old Mutual. We saw him at the Metropolitan Cup and we moved quickly and, and, and secured his signature. Uh, he'll be one of the youngest players to make his debut in the PSL. And um, I think that he's got big things ahead of him if he keeps a level head and he's prepared to learn from the players around him, like Gabonamong and Njima and George and Matabula. So he's got good role models in front of him. If he takes a little bit of each of those players, I think we're looking at a Bafana star of the future. I pray that it happens. On my left-hand side, I have Mr. Coltrane. Yeah? It's his job. But uh, when you have a good brand of player in the like of David Matibula, Bennett Chunene, uh, you have a Gino Mokezzi, and people tend to like those type of players. And you gel them in properly. And you have an innocent in Dlele who really plays, you know, he's the only one in my team, I always say, whether he plays hard or whether he plays soft when he comes off the pitch, his jersey is wet. And uh, for me, it's about our people in Artridgeville, our people in Eastres, our people in Mamalodi, to change, change the shirt to, to, to our type of players. And we're hopeful in that we're able to, to win them over, especially the people from Artridgeville. The discussions with Foppa when I met with Foppa in Holland were around him coming along as head coach. And um, he indicated to me that he wasn't prepared to be a candidate for the head coach position, that he has grandchildren and he's enjoying his lifestyle with his grandchildren and his family and he didn't want to have a full-time job. We're now talking to him about coming on board as an advisor to the football club uh, to add value to Kevin and, and, and the coaches in the youth team. Um, so we'll see how far those discussions go, but we've got immense respect for Fopo Dahan, for what he did at Ajax and for what we think he can bring to our football club in fast-tracking the development of young players like Mornay now and uh, two or three young players that we've got in our youth academy at the moment who we're very, very excited about for the future.